Hi, my name is Stephen McGee and I'm the author of Toxic Health. Now, we're here to look into one of the subjects of toxic health and that is electrical conductivity through the atmosphere. And uh, our atmosphere is going to be this jar and you'll see inside the jar we have the positive and negative meter probes of this meter that are actually recording the electrical voltage that is inside this jar. Now electrical voltage is coming from this AC cable. It doesn't have a load on it, so the only thing we have on the cable is voltage. And that voltage field is extending out from the cable and into the jar. And then, as you can see, we're reading a difference between the two probes. So, to simulate climate change, we're going to use a little candle. And when I put the jar on top of the candle, we'll see our meter reading starting to change. So let me start the experiment. So watch the meter. So our experiment has now started. So our base value is 85 millivolts on our meter. And the meter is set to 2 volts right now. So it'll take a little while, but that meter reading will start changing. And this is of interest because as climate change and global warming progress, the electrical properties of the atmosphere are going to change. And the sun is our largest source of energy that comes through the atmosphere. And also lightning storms, it's going to affect the characteristics of those too. But just talking about the sun, as the sun, the solar radiation transmission changes through the atmosphere, Basically, we're going to see a lot of changes in everything because everything's going to have to adapt to those energy changes. And uh, right now, you can actually see that the meter reading is rising very quickly. So that's a reaction to the changing gas composition of that jar. So we're actually replacing oxygen with carbon dioxide right now. That's very clearly having an impact on how the voltage field is set up inside that jar. And uh, it's a very significant change, you know, currently we're at 124 millivolts and our candle is still burning. So we've still got a ways to go. As you can see, this change is significant and the human race is actually making this change in the real world on a daily basis with pollution. And uh, it's been going on for quite some time and now approximately 250 years into the Industrial Revolution. and. Uh, there's been a lot of pollution entered the Earth's atmosphere during that time. And this is actually accelerating. It accelerates every year. So uh, it's, it's a very serious scenario. And as we see the Earth's atmosphere change, we're going to see everything else change as it tries to adapt to the changing levels of radiation coming from space down to ground. And uh, we're currently on 151 millivolts. So our value has significantly changed in the electrical environment. And this is happening in the Earth's environment. So uh, one of the things I became aware of uh, a couple of years ago is that the trees have started to die off around the planet. And uh, this was one of the experiments that I was wondering about as to whether the trees are actually reacting to a changed electromagnetic interference environment. And it does appear to be that case. So. Uh, our candle has now gone out and we have a reading of 157 millivolts. So our atmosphere has significantly changed from our starting value which was 88. And uh, this is happening daily on our planet so it's something to be aware of and uh, I hope some people actually start researching this effect who work with climate change and global warming. I hope you enjoyed this presentation and I wish you the very best of health. Thank you.